What's up guys? Back with another tutorial. So this time I'm going to cover how to change the color of foliage in your photo. So in my last post I mentioned getting a little creative with the color of my aspen leaves. Even though fall was pretty early in Colorado this year, I was still a bit impatient. So this photo was taken a few weeks back. Um, this flower right here is a cup rosenweed. And the leaves, as you can see here, were just starting to tip into yellow. But I want some burning orange and reds. So let's dive into this. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to choose our hue and saturation tool right here. So the way this tool works, you can adjust hue, saturation, and lightness of any of the main colors here in the drop down box. So we want to change our greens. Then this double bar down here, how this works is this top bar is the color wheel, color wheel, excuse me, as is in order. So true colors. And down here is how you're adjusting these top colors respectively down to the bottom colors by pulling these adjustment sliders. So now that we're at default, blue is blue, pink is pink, red is red, etc. So the colors are as they are or as they were captured in camera. So if we start changing the hue of our greens, let me pull all the way down to show you an extreme, you'll see that the trees here did not change very much. A little bit up here, definitely in the leaves where we have a very true green, but we're not getting a lot of this because there's a lot of yellows injected into those greens. So we need to adjust the range that we're affecting, and that's what these sliders do here. So we have our outside range, kind of where we start and stop, and then our inner range. Um, you can think of that as like, uh, the colors that we're affecting and then which colors uh, which, okay the colors that we're affecting the range that we're affecting and then like how strongly we're affecting those colors with the inner sliders so let's start by pulling our saturation or sorry our hue down to a color here so we can see what we're doing so we know when we're affecting the greens and then I'm going to start moving this outside slider which adjusts the numerator over here in degrees and let me turn this on really quick. You'll see that all of a sudden. So here's where we were. So adjusting this down to about 40 degrees, I think looks pretty sweet. We don't want to affect the tree trunks and that's the point of doing this and looking at how we're affecting things. So if I pull this down, you'll see I'm adjusting the color lined up here. So pink right now, the color of uh, the range that I have selected here on the lower end. So I'm going to leave that at about 90 and then I'm going to adjust the top. I'm going to pull that in because if we pull this too far over to the right, you'll see the sky. We start to affect the color of the sky as we bring blues into our range. Now that's a pretty sweet artistic color combo right here, but I'm trying to keep things somewhat realistic. So I'm going to try to eliminate the blues by pulling this down to the tops of the greens before I hit cyan. And then once again, adjust this until I see fit, which about 120 degrees. I don't see too much of effect of this uh, second to right slider. So there we go. Once we have our range set, now we can adjust our hue to bring which color we want to change our greens to. So here's where we started. And now we have full control over just the greens. So I'm thinking a nice burning orange looks good for a base layer and I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. So we're going to exit out of here. Then we want to create a verge visible visible with these oranges here. So shift option command E or shift control um, alt E on a PC I believe. So now we have a merge visible and so what I want to do is repeat this process but the way that I'm going to do this, so we have a merge visible with orange, and to save me having to readjust the range now to these oranges, I'm going to take off, or sorry, turn off this merge visible, and then go into here, go back to my greens, which has my range saved, and then pull these down to some fiery reds, which I think that looks pretty good right there. And then I'm going to merge visible this layer, so now I have a reds layer, and I'm going to turn this off, and do this one more time, pulling this back up to some nice green yellows. And then I'm going to merge visible this layer. So now we have three layers. We have a orange layer, a red layer, and one with a green layer. So what I'm going to do is start with my base, which is green. 
and I want to put the orange second. So I'm going from green to red. And then I'm going to mask this out with a black mask. And I can get in here and I can just start painting in where I see fit. And it really doesn't matter, if you, as you guys have seen as leaves change, the uh, color within the aspen leaves is not a consistent color across the grove in the canopy. There's oranges, there's reds, there's greens. So I'm just kind of painting this in and it makes it more realistic than just changing everything to a uniform color. <clears throat> so that looks pretty good maybe a little bit stronger in some areas. So I'm using a Wacom tablet, so depending on how hard I press, changes the opacity of my brush. So I can make some areas a little bit more orange, some less orange. And then the same story with the reds. We turn on the reds and then we mask that out. And now we can paint in some deeper reds, maybe where the oranges already were. And you just go through here and you do this to your takes. Each time it's going to be different. I don't have any really method to doing this. I'm just kind of going around and color dodging the tree canopies. So for the sake of saving time in this tutorial, I'm going to stop there. And you can kind of get an idea of how I've changed the canopy. And since we're just targeting the greens, you can be sloppy. You can accidentally hit the sky. It's not going to change the color of the sky. It's not going to change the color of the, of the tree trunks. Um, it will change the color of the grass and the leaf of the flower and the flower petals themselves. So what I'm going to do to prevent that is group these three layers here. So Command G or Control G. Put a mask on this layer and then I can mask out anything that I do not want. Let's delete this hue saturation layer now that we've gotten everything we need out of it and then you can bring back the greens and the grass if you want to and mask out the color changes in the leaf petals here or sorry the flower leaves and so there we go and if always return here and paint some more oranges into the canopies and reds and you can go crazy on this it's get as detailed as you want to but that's the general idea of how to change colors in your leaves realistically. So now if we look at a before and after, we have before and we have after. So it's a huge difference and it brings a lot of color and, and that nice autumn feel into your image. Alright guys, I'll see you later.